Hey guys, welcome back. So we're moving on to part B of question one. Um, what does part B ask us to do? Okay, so we're told that our typist is paid a basic wage of $22.50 per hour for a 40 hour work week. It's a typical work week. $22.50 per hour. Okay. And we want to calculate. So the first thing we want to do is calculate the typist's basic weekly wage. That's one mark. Then we're told that overtime is paid at one and a half times the basic hourly rate. And we want to calculate the overtime wage for one hour of overtime work. Again, one mark. Then we're told that to earn some extra money, the type is decided to work overtime. So we want to calculate the wage she would earn for overtime if she worked for a total of 52 hours during a given week. That's two marks. And then the number of overtime hours she must work during a given week to earn a total wage of $1,440. That's two marks again. So let's let's move into the calculation and let me explain how everything is done. Okay, so remember the first part. Calculate the type is basic weekly wage. Well, <coughs> if her wage per hour is twenty-two fifty and she works a forty hour week, then the basic weekly wage would just be forty times the twenty-two fifty. Right? And doing that we get nine hundred dollars per week. So a basic weekly wage will be nine hundred dollars per week. A monthly wage, interestingly, so let's just assume it's like four four weeks in a month uh, approximation. Well, then we would she would be getting thirty six hundred dollars per week. Not a lot. She not getting a lot as a typist. And we're moving on. So she would probably work some overtime hours to increase that salary. We want to calculate the overtime wage for one hour of overtime work. Well. Overtime is paid at one and a half times the basic hourly rate. So the basic hourly rate was twenty two fifty per hour. And one and a half times that is one and a half times this, which is thirty three dollars and seventy five cents per hour. Right? So what you might do to increase her wages, work some work the forty forty hours and then work some overtime hours to increase her pay to be more than thirty six um, hundred dollars per week. Okay, so as the Next part. So to earn some extra money, well, you can guess that. Um, to earn some extra money, type is decided to work overtime. Calculate the wage she would earn for overtime if she worked for a total of 52 hours during a given week. All right. So if she works 52 hours during a given week, well, 40 of those hours would be um, would be at the original 22.50. And the remaining hours, which would be 12 hours, would be the overtime hours. So, using that, we can calculate how much you work for the entire week. So, 40 hours out of that 52 hours would be at the basic, at the basic wage, and then the remaining 12 hours would be at the overtime rate. Um, doing the multiplication and then adding those two values together, we get. Um, $1,305. Right? So you get $1,305. Okay, that's good. So she's working for $1,305 per, per week. If she works a 52 hour week. And finally, <coughs> we want to know the number of overtime hours she must work during a given week if she has to earn a total wage of fourteen of one thousand four hundred and forty dollars. Alright. So we <coughs> we already know that for the for the week she earns nine hundred dollars and that's working at the normal rate. So we have to take that out first. The rest of money she would earn using the um, the overtime hours. So the amount of money she earns using uh, normally is nine hundred dollars. So when you take that out, she would remain with five hundred and forty dollars, and that's the amount she earns by working overtime. All right. So how many? So what we have to ask ourselves is how many 
33 dollars and 75 cents are in 540 dollars right because remember in one hour she earns one overtime hour she earns 33 dollars and 75 cents in two overtime hours she earns um, two times that and three overtime hours she earns three times that so how much times the 35 dollars and 75 cents would give us the 540 dollars and we get that by dividing 540 by 3375 and that gives us 16 hours right because if she works 16 hours and then each of those hours would be paid at 33 dollars and 75 cents so 16 times 3375 would give us the 540 and that's how we find how many hours of overtime she would need to work to earn the 540 and that's how you work out this question.